Okay, so let's get started. I'll start with the geometry network. I'll call it Sim. I'll change the color. Dive inside, and uh, for this project, we are going to we are going to need a heart geometry, and for that, I'm using a file, and this heart geometry will bring it in, and I got this from Sketchfab, so I'll provide a link to all of you for that. So after the file, what I'm going to do is just make sure that uh, this is a polygon. So I'll just unpack this first as this is alembic. And after the unpack, I'll just use a convert node just to make sure that everything here is polygon. So we are converting everything to polygon here. As you can see, we have points, primitives, vertices, etc. After this, let me just view it from here and let me just set it up properly yes let's align this and after this what I'm going to do using is I'll use a transform node because uh, the size of this heart is too small let me just increase it by 8.85 this is the size that I used in my preview so that's why I'm using that here let's just bring it down a bit and at the center of the center of the screen at zero 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 So what we can do now is let's just see how many pieces are there. So as you can see, all these pieces are individual meshes. They are not connected together. All right. And for our VLM simulation, we want this heart to be one piece. So what we can do is let's use a Let's use a fuse node to fuse together all the separate pieces. All right. Now, when we look at it, you can see there are only two pieces now. We'll fix this later with the help of our Willem glue constant. So we'll just keep it as it is for now. All right. After the fuse, we'll, we will be creating we'll be creating constraints for this. So let's do that. Let me just go to the front view, and now we can do it. Okay. Uh, let me create vellum balloon configuration. And Vellum Balloon configuration is used to create a balloon setup. Uh, it provides us two important cloth constants, uh, vellum constants, which is the cloth constant and the pressure constant. The cloth constant controls the stretchability and the bendability of the cloth and the vellum pressure constant control, controls the pressures. Okay, so in the vellum cloth, change the points and now here we have here our stretch area. So as I said earlier, uh, the cloth constraint controls the stretchability of the cloth, how stretchable the cloth is going to be. In the stretch section, with the help of the stretch stiffness, we can control how stretchable or how or how stiff the cloth is going to be. Okay. So if I play with the stretch stiffness here, the higher the value, the less stretchy the cloth is going to be, and lower the value, the more stretchy it is going to be. Okay. We do not want it to be very stretchy, so I'll just change the stiffness value here. Uh, let's keep the stiffness value to 1e plus 10 so that it is very stiff. Welcome to the bend stiffness. Bend stiffness controls how bendable or how um, foldable the cloth is going to be. And the higher the value, it is going to be stiff. The bend, And if the stiffness value is low for bendability, it is going to be more bendable. So I'll keep the stiffness to 0 0.01. Let's come to the pressure, change it to points. And the stretch section here controls how the pressure, how much pressure is going to be generated and how much pressure it is going to be maintained. 
stiffness in the pressure maintains the pressure inside the mesh okay and the wrestling scale generates the pressure so if the stiffness value is 1e plus 8 that means we are going to maintain the pressure uh, pretty much and the wrestling scale is 3 I have changed it to 3 which means that uh, it is going to generate 3 times the pressure than its original capacity of the mesh okay so after this let me just create a vellum solver and the vellum solver all I'm going to do is I'll just change the gravity to 0 and we can actually we can actually play this and see if, what is happening so as you can see we have kept the pressure rest scale to be at 3 which means at frame 2 the pressure of this the pressure inside this mesh is 3 times as its original or its original capacity so this is what we are getting the two pieces are separating because of high pressure okay these were two different geometries two different meshes which were as you can see after the fuse there were two meshes here and when the pressure is applied at second frame they both are getting separated so how we can keep them glued to each other we can keep them glued to each other with a very handy constraint which is called vellum glue constraints so I'll just attach it here change it to points group tab to points and you can see as soon as we let me just keep it perspective as you can see here the two different geometries two different meshes are being joined together as soon as I use a vellum glue constant I'll change the maximum distance to around 0 0.5 just just for safety and I'll change the constant per point to 3 as you can see per point they are going to be 3 three times the constant okay and uh, here the stretch stiffness controls uh, how strong the glue connection is going to be so I'll just keep the stiffness at around 100,000 and I think that is going to work properly now we can now we can run this and see if the glue constant is working and if the two separate ratios are glued to each other and now you can see that at frame second when the pressure is increased the two geometries or two meshes are glued together okay and what is this mm. okay they okay there's some mesh here which are connected to each other but I think that's not going to be an issue for us okay this is not because of the glue constant because it is the same geometry that is being stitched to you okay so after the glue this is what we are getting the two geometries two separate meshes are connected to each other they are glued to each other and we are getting our heart but the problem is that the heart is moving from its original position okay it's it starts floating around if I play this you can see if I play this some more it's not holding its original position it's moving around and I do not want that okay let me just turn off the textures here turn on the smooth sheet and now you can see it is moving around we do not want that we want the heart to be stuck at its original position um, so what we can do for that we are going to use we are going to use another constraint for that and that is called vellum pen to target constraint so just use a vellum constraint and in the vellum constraint come to group type change the points come to constant type change it to pen to target and what pen to target constant does let me change the pen type to soft okay so what this pen to target constant does is it plays as a it plays as a balancer it plays as a switch so if the pin to target constant is if the stiffness value is too high then we are telling the geometry we are asking the geometry to 
keep its original position give priority to its original position and do not take participation in the simulation and if the stiffness is too low that means we are asking the geometry to give priority to simulation and forget about the original position okay so we want this heart to be its to have its original position to be at its original position but we also want it to take participation in the simulation we want it to inflate for that we need to find a certain good value a middle ground for both the stretch stiffness and the bend stiffness because both of them affect our geometry the higher the stiffness that means take part is uh, give priority to original position and lower the stiffness means uh, give priority to simulation okay so let's do that okay so let's change the stiffness value here the stretch stiffness value to somewhat at the middle so that the heart is doing both keeping its original position and taking participant participation in the simulation to 100 is good and for the bend stiffness i'm going to keep it at 0 0.001 all right let's go to wellum solver again and let's run this so you can see that at frame second the heart is inflating but it's also at its original position it's not floating around like previously so that's what we wanted i think this is perfectly fine and now what we want is we want the heart to be beating we want to give it the beating effect right like this throughout our simulation we want it to be beating like this inflate deflate inflate deflate and that's that we are going to do inside of a vellum solver so let's dive inside of a vellum solver and here we are going to use a vellum constraint properties okay so use a vellum constraint properties connect it here go to group go to group and we want to affect only our pressure constraints so for that come to the vellum pressure constant here and we only want this stretch section of the pressure constant to get affected okay uh, we want to affect the wrestling scale inside of a vellum solver so change it to one um, and now here turn on the output group and name it stretch pressure so that it will be only affecting our pressure stretch okay in the group select stretch pressure and we will turn on our wrestling scale because this is what is controlling the generation of the pressure okay how much pressure is generated inside of a mesh we are controlling that with the help of our wrestling scale so on frame one let's just make it 0 0.85 we'll deflate it at frame one and we want this to be around 150 frames to change it to around 150 and let me just turn on the brain here and at frame 25 what I want is I want it to inflate to around 3 so the pressure is going to be 3 times its original volume let's keep the pressure till 37 frame 37 to 3 and at frame 52 this will deflate again to 0 0.85 we'll keep that pressure to 0 0.85 till 58 frame let's increase it again at frame 74 to 3 okay we'll keep the same value till 83 we'll deflate it again at around 90 101 maybe yeah so 0 0.85 we will keep this value of 0 0.85 at till 109 put a keyframe there and now we can finally do our final inflation at around 147 frame 147 is going to be wrestling scale is going to be 3 so here we have animated or keyframed our wrestling scale so the wrestling scale is going to move between 0 0.85 which is deflation and 3 which is inflation so the heart is going to be deflating and inflating and now we can run this simulation and see what we are getting
let me run a flipbook here turn off the resolution and let's see what we're getting okay so you can see that the heart is inflating and then deflating inflating deflating it is properly beating that's what we wanted this is the effect that we wanted all right after this I think this is enough okay yeah it's properly working let's close this after this what I want is everything is working fine let me just align it properly so as you can as you saw in the preview uh, there's going to be a cloth here which is wrapped around our heart and we are going to give it uh, effect of body bag so basically our heart is inside of a inside a poly bag and it is waiting okay so let's create a sphere for that poly bag and I'll change the size or radius in the y direction to one let me turn on this perspective yeah okay so this is going to be our heart and this is our sphere and we are going to create a cloth or poly bag with the help of that let's just use a transform increase the size here and we want this poly bag or the sphere to be obviously bigger than our heart so 1.57 seems nice to me okay Okay, so this is looking nice and what we can do after this is I'm going to use a remesh like this and I'll just change the target size to 0 0.05 but this is not how it should be looking there must be some mistake so let me check it so if I come to the transform everything is fine here if I come to sphere okay so let's change the primitive type to polygon here that's what the problem is and change the frequency to 10 now if I go to remesh you can see we are getting a proper sphere or proper cloth which has a lot of lot of triangles and that's what we wanted okay so come to the remesh this is looking nice heart is inside of a body bag what we can do now is we are going to create a group change the group type to points call it cloth or poly bag whatever you want after the group we are using a vellum cloth simulation cloth configuration vellum cloth constraint and vellum cloth constraint as i said earlier it generates two important cloth properties it gives two important cloth property properties to our mesh which is the stretchability of the cloth and the bendability of the cloth okay so that is that and uh, i'm going to change the stiffness here and to around 1e plus 7 we want this cloth to be to be somewhat stretchy i'll decrease the wrestling scale here to 0 0.9 and i'll come to the bend section and i'll keep the bending here to 0 0.001 and let me just use a vellum pack